Hi guys, Shan81 here and welcome to another speed build video. So today we are making a tropical getaway and I had a lot of fun doing this build actually, something a little bit different. It, uh, it just turns out to be a one bedroom little sort of holiday villa and I used a lot of different photos online to sort of create or recreate this villa. Um, Basically I merged a few different pictures of a particular resort that I found online um, and just sort of came up with my own design for a bit of a tropical getaway. Uh, so just trying to get the shape of the building. So sort of wanted this L shape build and then on top there is where that is a room it actually um, opens up and that won't be a room but you'll be able to go up, access it via stairs. It's just going to be basically a roofed in sort of sun area, I guess. So I'm just putting the thatched roof on it to give it that sort of tropical vibe and then just trying to find some posts to hold up the roof because I'm going to knock out the walls. But, um, yeah, just trying to work out exactly where I wanted it to stay, stand. And yeah, adding fences to the back two walls. Obviously you don't want to be able to fall off the roof, so. And then adding stairs in. And then I cannot wait until the update and we can just hit control or shift or whatever key it is, the shortcut key, to just make stairs go down the way you want them to. Instead of having to go down to the bottom floor and then try and work out exactly where you want to place a pair of stairs. And uh, yeah, just adding like a little half wall at the end of the stairs. Obviously you don't want to fall down the stairs either. And just trying to find, play around with the trims here just to get a bit of a, a trim on that bottom underneath the roof line there. And the walls, I think I've got them set the highest at the moment. Maybe not, maybe only middle. No, I'm not sure. Obviously the top floor is set to just the shortest as well there though, so, so you don't want it too high. Um, yeah, just working out what sort of walling I want around the stairs, whether I want to cut that bit out or not, or have it sort of different. Oh yeah, move it in just a little bit, decide to move it in on all sides. And yeah, just move it across a bit. Yeah. So you can get around behind the little it, I think I will block it off with I don't know maybe I don't oh put in a pool in down the bottom because you know what what's the result without a pool you know pretty boring one actually um fencing and things just getting the height of the uh, foundations just set right as well and then just putting in stairs a couple of little bit stairs here and there so I built this originally as a residential lot, so it's on a, um, in this gallery, I think it's under residential. But I think, I th did go and put it in um, the, oh why can't I remember, Jungle Adventures um, World. And I sort of, yeah I really liked it, but I, I should have taken screenshots from there, but I didn't get a chance to. I keep forgetting, but the screenshots are just done from here. Um, because it looks really, really, really good in that setting, and that's sort of what I designed it for, but I didn't build it in there. I just sort of went and placed it in afterwards. And I was thinking about having that front area open, but I decided not to. I think I, I just ended up going with big windows. Um, I use a lot of, a lot of big windows in this build. Because it's, you know, you want it to be quite open, sort of. You know, it's really nice, open, breezy. You know, let the let the breeze through type building. Um, but yeah, I, I do close that off because I I don't like the way the lighting works in it with if, without the walls. So I can close it off and just put windows in the end. But I was playing around with just leaving it open like that. But I think I take it out. Yeah, I was still trying to play around with these trims, trying to get the right sort of look. Oh yeah, it wants to do something weird there, it wants to go around the outside of the build, so it wants to go around the um, 
where I put the balcony. Oh, yeah, the the decking there. Um, I think I make that the toilet, and then I wall off that area there and make that the bedroom. And then the rest of it's open plan. Yeah, that's what I decided to put the walls back in. Oh yeah, because of the because it didn't have the walls there, it wouldn't put the f the um the trim around it. So I really wanted that trim, so I had to put walls back in as well. That's the other reason I had to put them in. And you can see I use a lot of the Jungle Adventures things. Um, use those little window brick things to for the bathroom. And. Oh, the new sliding doors, that's right. Oh, this is just after the um, update came out with the sliding doors and the ceiling fans and the tropical wallpaper stuff. So you'll see I use all those things in this build. Um, as well as, like I said, a lot of Jungle Adventures items. A really, really cool build, actually. I really, I really love how it turned out, actually. I was kind of impressed myself. Just trying to work out what I want to do with this build. This sort of island counter trying to work out which way around I want it yeah I think I like it curved I tried to decide whether I want to put the stove there or not but I think I move it to this side to the wall and we build basically right up to the stairs where they go up and then I put a little bit of cabinetry under the under the stairs as well pretty sure sims can access everything I put under there. I think because I put a microwave under there so I'm not entirely sure if that can be accessed but I haven't didn't try it out. Oh yeah put a big cabinet under it too. And then a few cabinets across the top here. Yeah just working out which way around I want it. For some reason that was wouldn't click to where it was meant to go so I was doing weird things that corner one. Put a dishwasher in, because you know, if you're gonna. Oh, there it goes again, doing, doing some weird, like, weird things. I really struggled with it, it just wouldn't clip to where I needed it to, for some reason. I was just like, why? Yep, I fixed it, in the end, it works. I am just checking which packs I want to use, because I didn't want to use every pack. Um, I think, I don't know what it actually ends up being. Um, but yeah, it was it was good fun. I might actually, just uh, the game. I was going to load up the game, but I can't quite do that. Um, so yeah, using that new wallpaper, I really like it. It looks really good in this. I just use it as a feature wall. I think I changed the colour of that. I don't go with the pink in the end. I think I choose a blue background. Because I was trying to find a, one that matched the, like a colour that matched the background of it. But it, it's really hard. There's like no plane that would match that pink tone. So I sort of go with this blue all over. I think, yeah, I end up going all over with that. Oh yeah, trying to match different blues as well. <laughs> you can see I'm just sort of messing around. Trying to work out what colour would work best. I try browns, I try pinks, I try blues. I, I just, yeah, pull out a lot of different colours. I mean, it's not like I have much really to sort of decorate with it, but I struggled. Yeah, so that's where I switch it to the blue. And then I just go with the blue, a light blue, all through the, the rest of the house there. I think it looks really good. And the Jungle Adventure tiles as well, I really love those. They look really good. And, oh, yep, heading to the upper floor now. So I just wanted that as to be like a brick. And then I want to put this grass sort of in on the ceiling, on the roof. So it's somewhere like you could make it like a little retreat area. There's a lot of little retreat sort of areas in it. It's pretty cute actually. I really, like I said, I'm really proud of how it turned out. Just adding a range hood and then just getting out some kitchen clutter. Like I said, trying not to use too many packs but adding in, so I use seasons items as well. So I think seasons, jungle adventure, 
possibly cool kitchen and an outdoor living. I think that's what they're called. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many I actually do use. I can't open up the game at the moment. Otherwise, I'd have gone and have a look at the gallery. Or maybe I could do it through. Yeah, just doing the bathroom up as well. And yeah, adding in benches and sinks and things. Just trying to line them up so it looks looks like it matches and things. Awesome. I love how the gallery online doesn't work. I just went to search EAID, I type in my ID, it doesn't work. Like, what even is that? Like, do I have to be logged in? Log in. What a pain. And they put the, through these updates and then basically nothing works. I just don't understand. Gallery. Okay, now I'm signed in. Can I get to the gallery? Can I get to my gallery? Mm -hmm. No. Popular, popular. It is such a shame. I don't think I can actually get to it on here. I don't think I've uploaded it yet. Maybe that's why it is. Uh, no trouble, we'll get away. We'll try and see where that works. Alright, what am I doing back in the game? Okay, so I'm adding paintings and things like that. Just decorations around. No, I'm not going to find it here, I don't think. Um, no. Curtains. I'm trying to find curtains that would work. Because, of course, I've done weird, shape, weird size windows that don't want to have curtains. I think I try sizing them up and down things, so it just doesn't work very well. And some lights and things, mirrors and little framed items as well. Oh, the Tropical Avengers bed and things. I love the f the fans look awesome. Um, I love the all the different bits and pieces. I think this is my real first time sort of playing with just the Tropical Avengers stuff. So I think like. Um, yeah, putting that little circle thing on there as well. I think that's cool. Wow. This is the worst website ever, guys. Seriously, Sims team, if, you, if you're listening. Fix it. It's Everyone's frustrated with it. You know, you've you said you fixed it by updating it, and it's just gotten worse and worse and worse. Um, yeah, I can't look that up. Sorry, guys. Um, I was going to look it up. Um, Wow. Nah, it's really pathetic when you try and do anything in the gallery and you can't even you know, access the gallery online. It just doesn't really work at all. Try a hashtag. We've got a hashtag at the name, name, but we'll have a look. No. Okay, this time it's worked. Go figure. I've just searched it again and it's actually worked. Now that I'm signed in, I think. Alright, can I find it? Do you have put it up? I don't think I've put it up. I just noticed that I've got a double up there and I thought I deleted my double up. Obviously not. So I don't know how I ended up with a double up online, but I did. 
no idea. All right, <laughs> back to back to decorating. Um, they tried out different rugs and things. I love that rug. That looks really cool. But I think it's a bit too bright. Yeah, it's a bit too much. So change it. I use that rug in two different ways. Sort of across the door and then in the in the living room. I love that hexagon table or whatever shape that is. Octagon. Octagon. And the chairs and things. And oh yeah, add a little desk in there too, just for. For, s for reasons, you know, you might want to. I use some of the, you know, unlock item type things as well, just because they look better. Um, love that little. Oh, I don't have built by it. I don't have move objects on. Um, love that little p uh, picture frame there as well. I think that's really cool. The um, tapestry in it behind the glass. I think it looks really cool. And uh, just adding some little ca counter items. Obviously using the move objects cheat to get them in the right place. And I added a little soap bar and towels on the kitchen on the kitchen bench no, bathroom counter. Looks super cute. A little toilet, add a toilet roll. And hmm, little rugs. Lots of rugs everywhere because it's you know sort of floorboards. I love the uh, floorboards, I think they look really cool. More rugs, some bookshelves, a couple of things on top of the bookshelves. So I use cats and dogs obviously as well, but I may because whoop, I wanted the decoration decorative items. Rail spice rack. Something I don't normally use. I'm just trying to put a shelf above the fridge here just to sort of give it a something thing something to sit on basically. And so use the spices and salt and pepper shaker thing. What else do I use? Oh some some chilies. Cool. I actually detailed this one up a lot more than I normally would. Probably maybe that's why I really like it. Because <laughs> I did go to a lot of detail. So upstairs, this is a, a sort of entertaining sort of area. Um, I put, yeah, that's, I know that's floating basically, but I make it look like it's attached to the post. Um, so a little dartboard, little foosball table. I think that's like a card table as well. And then the little um, bubble blower thing. Card table, oh yeah, and a ga games table as well. So I've got both there. Uh, adding a couple of yoga mats plus the meditation stool. Oh yeah, the little globe bar thing. I'm oh, changing that picture for some reason. Didn't, didn't like what I chosen. Obviously. Um, oh yeah, outside I put the the fireplace as well. That's cool. And the archaeology archaeology table. Words. Words are hard. Uh, oh, the tiki bar as well. I think that's cool. So make like a little outdoor party area. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the little bucket of balloon, water balloon stuff. Because I figure, you know, why not? Um, oh yeah, add a barbecue. Just that little barrel one. I think that was cool. Checking out some cobblestones. Just make a bit of an area half wall in behind it with a bit of a, a bit of a look to it um, just yeah adding wall around it oh yeah um, mailbox because this is technically a residential lot so put a mailbox on rubbish bin around the back so yeah that's kind of yeah it's an exit and entrance through the bedroom so it is kind of, you know, access through the bedroom, I guess. But you could always walk around, you don't have to go through there. Um, oh, umbrella table, on the deck, some chairs, eventually. Some cute little seating around near the pool. I think I don't know whether I added an umbrella near there or not. I don't know what I do, I can't remember. Yes, I do, I added an umbrella. 
a little bonfire at the side. So why not? You know, if you it would make a really cool like little party house, I reckon, <laughs> with all the little bits and pieces that are in. But yeah, only one bedroom, so it'll be good for having a party and then kicking everyone out. Sounds fair for me. Put some chairs upstairs. What else? I'm just arranging them so that they don't look too squished. Adding a little fire pit in the middle of this as well, and then these little cute chairs around it. That's really cool. And little rocks and things around this little garden area. I end up making this really pretty. Super cool. Yeah, yeah, just adding little decoration items as I find them as well. Oh yeah, bamboo screen there basically, so it's screened off, and then some other little bits of bamboo are here and here and around the place. It's a bamboo. Make that like a little bit of a thing. I don't know. Basically, gave it a bit of a backing. Um, adding some trees and things. What else? Other little pot plants. So this is probably this the decorating is probably where I end up using that other packs. So if I did use more than just um, you know uh, the ones I mentioned before, the tropical getaway base game, uh, what else? Cool kitchen, outdoor living, or whatever it is, patio, whatever the the outdoorsy ones. Um, I think it would mostly just be decoration, so like which isn't really that bad. Um, obviously, the spa I used as well because I've used the yoga mat and things. But yeah, okay, I probably did end up not really worrying about too much what I've used. But mostly tropical adventures is definitely like the main one that you'd need to get the look of this house. If you were to download it without having all the packs, um, especially with the vines that I'm adding now, which are really awesome. So I use some of the, f the v vines with flowers and other little tiny pieces. Lots of pot plants up here just to give a really cool look as well. I found another hanging vine thing. <laughs> I'm like, I can fit that one in too, so I chuck it in. Um, heaps of different pot plants. Just giving it a real sort of feature as well and yeah bringing that in the pot plants inside into a little feature corner as well Maybe some cacti other little ferns and things it's really cool because I got to use different things that I wouldn't normally like some of the designs on the um, pot plants I don't normally I usually go with more of a, like a white black grey look very plain simple pot plants um, but I got to use like some really funky colours and things Oh yeah, I need a massage table up there too, just to make it really cool. And that flower bed thing I thought was awesome. Use that. Are oh, you trying to find some benches, stools that would work out there? Um, oh yeah, I need a little, your little incense burners as well, which help with your meditation. And what else? Oh yeah, umbrella. Like I said, I did add one, so just placing that there. And oh yeah, I nearly forgot to do the pool <laughs> as well. So adding like brick to the edge of the pool, so it makes it look a bit darker. And I don't think I use the trim in the end, or do I? Might, no, maybe I do. It's pool ladders as well, changing the colour of the pool water. But I'm trying to find one that actually looks decent is hard. I wonder. If I think about putting um, lily pads, but then I decided to just add fountains. And then I think I use a steam or bubble one in the bottom of the pool as well. Oops. Looks like steam actually. I add in some plants at the back, so I use the tropical adventure plants. Yeah, lots of lots of ferny fern style plants, I size them up and down and things just to get different variety. Just 
add a bit of, you know, bring the jungle to, into the wards of the house, sort of look. And those little floral ones down the bottom, to some ground cover. Some super cool bits and pieces. Oh yeah, look at using that one, but decided not to. A lot of people use it for a roof cover type thing. Um, just other little bits and pieces that I find and stick in. Uh, moving the oh yeah, adding some rocks as well in amongst it just to give it more of a natural look. And oh yeah, let's try to find this little. I knew it had a natural cover thing somewhere that I could use, so I found that one and put that one over the tiki bar. It looks pretty cool. And then I find this little one like a little oh, arbor type thing. And stick it at the entrance there, so kind of like you can come in from the jungle and head up into the house. Or you know, I think it looks awesome. Oh, yeah, I added some broken pots in the garden as well. I think that's really cool. Alright, and that's it. We're on to screenshots. So thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to click that like button, hit that subscribe, and click the notification bell, and leave me a comment. I hope you've enjoyed this build and I will be sure to catch you all next time. Bye!